Hello, Mario Vlogs number 335, Loyalty Cats. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, Loyalty Cats, bane of my life. I've always been against Loyalty Cats. I can't see why... Well, perhaps I should back the truck up a little bit, because the other day I mentioned that... I seldom carry cash, and I've sort of, well, I thought that was how things were, but apparently in New Zealand we're quite, well, unique or advanced in that way, in that we do use a lot of cards, FPOS cards, credit cards, and that sort of thing, and so I seldom carry cash, I might carry a few coins around if I'm lucky. And that brings me to this next thing, was that you can end up with a myriad of cards, as particularly if you get um, a lot of loyalty cards, like Coffee Club and Subway Club, McDonald's Club. Well, oh, that sounds like a lot of takeaways, doesn't it? But, you know, everybody has these bloody loyalty cards, you see, and they're, they're forever asking you, like, if you've got a club card or a one card or this card or that card i get heartily bloody sick of it to be honest and what i don't get is that we've got all of the technology we've got the technology i can give them my card they can tell me if i've got enough money in the bank and they can take that money out and put it in their bank account and put stuff in and do discounts and all that but they can't work out whether i've been to their shop before and um you know, whether I'm a loyal customer and what I've bought. They, they, I have to have another card to tell them that. Well, that's just rubbish. They should be able to work that out with all the technology that they've got. Work it out and say, well, you're a loyal customer. And instead of mucking around with all these cards and getting me to get them in and out, and then they fiddle around, and I, I have a few dexterity issues, so, you know, one card does all for me I'm afraid and uh, so it's just a waste of um, time why don't they just give me a discount <laughs> I just take a few bucks off I'm not going to complain about that but all oh, these blooming loyalty cards you know clip your card for a cup of coffee if you've been going to their shop for 10 days in a row surely they can just slip you a free coffee or work it out themselves you know or I don't know, it just doesn't seem like there are there are they're there to make you buy more I've got I'm totally convinced of that and they try to track your habits to see what you can buy so that they, they know what to upsell you and uh, what what your preferences are so yeah I mean if I if I uh, took every loyalty card that I was offered and kept them in my wallet i wouldn't need a wallet i'd need a bloody wheelbarrow to go shopping and then it would take me hours to sort out all the cards so i think we have the technology you know i think we we have the technology there and we could easily just have one card well that's all i have now i don't bother i know i might miss out on a little bit of this and that but i go well i suppose i go to the shops where i get real service and um you know, they might, if I go down to the bakery, may they might drop me an extra scone or, you know, put a little bit of extra butter on or something like that. I'd much prefer that sort of personal touch to this, have you got a one card? Oh, you can stick the one card. I don't, yeah, use your, and then, the, oh, it's, oh, I don't know, just, don't know. Oh, loyalty cards, I'm dead against them. Well, <laughs> Well, you know, against them anyway. So, um, yeah, that was my little... Uh, I've been saving this one up for quite a while. I, I drag it out every now and again, the, the loyalty cards and, and that sort of thing, but I've uh, sort of given up giving the people behind the counter a bit, of a bit of a serve for now. I've just sort of keep it to myself and let it fester, fester below the surface, and then it, every now and again it comes out. But uh, yes, I'm a, I'm a, I admit it, I'm a loyalty card hater. I don't like loyalty cards. I'm loyal, but I just don't like the loyalty cards. 
Anyway, moving right along, I think you get the idea. I don't like loyalty cards. So, here we've got this guy here with what looks like a loyalty card. I'm struggling to read it. I don't know whether it's um, Nanda or some shop anyway. But uh, tell me who this guy is, um, and I'll uh, I'll let him let him give him a piece of my mind about loyalty cards. He's coming to New Zealand um, in the next few days, actually, because my eldest daughter's coming back from Australia to um, to have to see him. So yeah, so who is this guy? And uh, yeah, if you see him, just let him know that Mario doesn't like loyalty cards. So that would be good. Now, yesterday's uh, guy was this guy. Um, I was talking about, you know, changing direction and going in different directions. Well, this is Elon Musk. And uh, he's a, an entrepreneurial type guy, estimated worth $20 billion, which I guess that uh, enables him to go in any anybody direction he wants to, actually. But... Um, He's has a few uh, little enterprises, uh, SpaceX, where he's, uh, I think he's attempting to travel to Mars, the uh, Tesla electric car company, which that, you know, that gives a few directions, and the Boring Company, which I saw him on, which is he wants to put in underground railways, I think, that link with roads. Uh, it's a very interesting concept. And... Uh, he did make a famous, uh, well, I saw some quote attributed to him, um, which said that uh, he hoped to die on Mars, but probably, but hopefully not on impact. So, uh, yeah, this is Elon Musk. He must, he's got a bit of a bit of a sense of humour. Um, well, he can afford to. He's worth $20 billion or something like that. But, uh, yeah, an interesting character. Um, so, and uh, Yankee well, sort of um, got his name round about right uh, and <laughs> called him the, the Rocket Man, but we knew who he was talking about. So, uh, well done, Yankee. And, uh, yep, you've, you've, you've made it on to the Hall of Fame again uh, with your yeah, there. And thanks very much for your support and uh, the things you do for the community. So, let's just go back and have a... Oh, I don't want those loyalty cards up there. Uh, another look at this guy here. Tell me who he is. Thanks to everybody who's liked and subscribed and commented and feedback. And uh, yeah, just uh, just a word of warning when you're around me. Yeah, don't keep your loyalty cards well hidden. Um, yeah, they're not not my not popular with me. But uh, you know, you might have an opinion on loyalty cards. I know some people uh, save them up and you know get an overseas trip or something out of them, I, I don't know. But uh, no, they're not my uh, not my thing for a number of reasons. Anyway, <laughs> let's, uh, let's get on. All good. Cheers. See you.